Hi, this is Gary back with you again just showing you some of the information that's available via software from the Rockwell Automation PowerFlex 4M. There's a parameter list. Uh, these are also available on the front of the drive, but as you can see, it's much easier to get to with software. So here's the parameter names and the values that they have the default values commanded frequency that's how fast it's going output frequency that's the actual frequency going to the motor that will turn into rpms output current voltage there you see our DC bus that I spoke about later, drive status, fault codes, control source, control in, that's the inputs. They're a 1 if they're true and a 0 if they're not. The digital in status, the communication status, the drive type, elapsed run time, and then test points. So notice that that is, as it says, port zero basic parameter group, and that's the display. So if I move it over to the basic programming group, notice that it'll allow you and it gives you the parameter number. That's 101 through 112. Motor nameplate volts, that comes from the nameplate, the frequency. Overload count or overload current, so that's the place that you would set the amps. Uh, minimum frequency, maximum frequency, and the maximum notice is all the way out to 400. So it can go many times the base speed. Start source is keypad, stop mode is ramp, and the multiple differences there is uh, the ramp means that when you push a stop button, it will take whatever you put in your ramp to go from that speed to zero. Uh, Axel time and decel time, that's what the ramp is going on. So in our case, our Axel time is 10 seconds, which means if you push the start button and you had 60 hertz in there, it would go from 0 to 60 in 10 seconds. Decel time is also 10 seconds, and notice they're different, so you can change them which means that you could, when you push the stop button, it will go from 60 hertz to zero hertz in 10 seconds. So that is our default. Our terminal block is how we are going to set our digital inputs up. So we have digital in, one and two select and there's many different things that can be put in there analog inputs relay outputs there's relays physically that's on the drive that can be programmed there's communications and so you can set the language the com data rate the node address what to do if you lose communications, how long that communications have to be lost, and what you're doing. And under advanced programming then there's many programmer programs because you can tell it to use different Excel rates, S-curve, JOG, internal, there's preset frequencies that you can select, skip frequencies, DC break, you can actually tell it to use an internal break function, and 
that will allow it to try and stop, uh, flying start, start it power up, so there's many different things. That's why you need the user manual on any drive that you're trying to program. Uh, please tune in. We'll be talking about other things in AC and DC drives. Uh, hope this is helpful to you. If you have any issues, just send me an email and we can try and get an answer for you. Thanks.